Hi, Sam. Hello. So, five days till the show. Oh, yes. Are you excited? I am stressed out, but I am super <laughs> excited. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Woo. Oh, so Breaking news. <laughs> it's a vlog. Spontaneity. Yeah. <laughs> Definition of spontaneity. There we go. Ready? I am stoked. I am so, so ready. ready. It's going to be a really bittersweet thing, isn't it? It is. It always is. The Whoa, we're getting stunts from Phoenix over here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Crazy. Hi, Isaac. Hello. Are you so excited that we only have five more days until the show? You're my sugar now. Yeah. Should be good. Hi, Connor. Hello. You're on camera. Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> Hi, paparazzi things. <laughs> can't. I can't deal. It's okay. Not, not having achieved flow yet. And there he goes. <laughs> Let's look at Connor's How pretty fairy wings. It doesn't kill me when I put it on. It's not. It's not, imb it's not imbued with Ness's blood, and as such, will will cause me as Hercules to burst into flame. Oh my. Yeah, there were some classical illusions in there. That yeah. was intense. I'll make sure to put that in the vlog. <laughs> classical illusions. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, Jasmine. And Alex, too. Hi, Alex. Everybody knows you, though, so that's okay. Nobody knows Cindy, though. Hi. Hi, Cindy. Cindy's not in the show, but she's our biggest fan. I'm in the club. She is in the when club. I'm not, in the, not at work. When she's not at work. When she's not at work. But she's our biggest fan, and we love her. Yay. And Christian. Everybody knows Christian already. Like Maybe. I'm actually not sure. I don't think we've ever shown you not in the show, just in your natural Taco Bell eating habitat. Is that Taco Bell really delicious? <laughs> Is it Taco Bell delicious? All right. Just come home, your brother, when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me when you're not strong. Is this being recorded? Yes, yes. it is. What? Isaac after in his awesome costume. We're so jelly. Hi, Michael. Say hi to the interwebs. Hey, guys. See what the plane tricks are. 
Then read the names of the actors. Uh, Mary, our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and Bisbee. A very good piece of work. I assure you. Now, read for us from the scroll. Masters, spread yourselves. <laughs> uh, answer as I call you, Nick Bottom. Uh, the Weaver. All right. Name of part I four, then proceed. Uh, you, Nick Bottom, are set down with Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover on a tyrant. A lover that kills himself most gallant for love. That'll take some tears in the true performing of it. If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. I will move stalls. I will condone some measure. To the rest. You my chief humor is for a tyrant. I could play Ericles readily, or a part to tear the cat in. Tell me the boss split. For <clears throat> the raging rocks and shivering shocks shall break the locks of prison gates, and Bibis car shall shine my boss and make and mark the foolish bakers. This was lofty. <sighs> now, uh, Francis Flute, the bellows vendor. Uh, here, Peter Quince. Uh, Flute, you are to take pity on you. What is this? Wandering night? This lady that Pyramus was not. Nay, Faith, let me not play the woman. I have a beard coming in. Oh, that's, that's all one. You can, you can play in a mask, and you must speak as small as you will. And I may hide my face. Let me play this be too. No. I will speak in a monster in the voice. No. This be this be. No. Oh, you got a Pyramus dear. He did like this be dear. No. No. And the no. Lady. No. No. You, you must play Pyramus and do busy. Well, proceed. Uh, Tom Snout the Tinker. Here, Peter. <laughs> Uh, Tom Stout, who is his father, myself, Pyramus' his father, um, Snug the Joint, uh, you the lion's part. How are you the lion's part, Britain? Pray you, if it be, give it to me, for I am slow of study. Uh, you, you may do it next step four. Uh, four is nothing but roaring. Let me play the lion, too. I will roar, and that will make any man's heart good to hear me. I will roar, and that will make the duke say, let him roar again. Let him roar again. <laughs> you can play no part of Pyramus. <laughs> For Pyramus is a sweet-faced man, <laughs> a proper man, as one would see on a summer's day, a most kind and gentlemanlike man. I entreat you, request you, and desire you, uh, meet me in the palace wood. Uh, I pray you, fail me not. There we will meet, and we will hurt most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect, adieu. Uh, this green plot shall be our stage. Peter Quince, who would say it's not bully bottom. Pyramus and Bisbee, that will never please. Will the ladies be fear the lion? I fear it, I promise you. Come, sit down, every mother's son, and rehearse your parts. Uh, Pyramus, when you have spoken your speech, enter into that break, and so everyone, according to his cue. And homespuns have we swaggering here, so near to the cradle of the fairy queen. What? A play tour? I'll be in order. An act too, perhaps, if I seem cause. Speaker is busy, said one. Oh, this way. Thy flowers only savor sweet. <laughs> Odors. <laughs> Odors. <laughs> Odors, savor sweet. So hath thy breath, quite fruit is beautiful. 
But how? But Louise! Stay there a little while. By and by, to thee I will appear. <coughs> Stranger pyramid snare played here. Must I speak, man? Ah, there. Must you? For you must understand, he goes but to uh, see a noise that he heard. Oh. <clears throat> oh, most radiant pyramid. Oh, 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 most radiant pyramid. <laughs> Okay. 